When you load up into a normal super flat world, you don't expect to only see bedrock. So then you might be wondering, what am I supposed to do? Well, with a tool called Betacraft, Thankfully, we have a tool to our use. The Betacraft Launcher is one of the most useful tools that we have, and if we go to the versions and scroll all the way down, we can get Beta 1.9 Pre-Release 3. After obtaining this pre-release, we go to the Minecraft folder and put it into the Betacraft saves. This allows us to spawn with a full stack of enchanting tables, bookshelves, and end portal frames. But there's also a secret item. This secret item is actually the end portal itself. We're able to place it down and give ourselves a gateway to the end. Now, all we need to do is do the reverse of putting it into the Betacraft folder and put it back into Java. Now our world has the exact same items and blocks as Betacraft. Something I forgot to mention when making this world is that I went to the More tab and used a data pack. This data pack will add everything except for villages. We're kind of just chilling in this world, and I was thinking... I need to get myself items, but I was also thinking we need to make a mob farm. And there I was, making the mob farm that I so desired. But I actually do not know how to make one or how mob spawning really works. This should be large enough to spawn something, I hope. Let's let's build this wall out of out of enchanting tables though. This wall is to keep them all in here. Um, I am screwing up. Well, hopefully this works. I kind of just realized these give off light, don't they? Oh god, it is emitting light. As the first day settled down, I realized that I needed to start again. I would like to explain something to everybody here. You see, when you're playing this game normally, uh, you have a lot of space for mobs to spawn, and of course, they end up spawning, like right now. But in a world like this, nothing can spawn for miles. This is because Bedrock has a property that makes it so mobs can't spawn on top of it. But if I place a block with, let's say, wood, mobs can finally start spawning. This isn't due to a glitch, but it's due to properties of Minecraft. It's the same even when you use slabs. Mobs don't spawn on here. So that's why using enchanting tables or even end portal frames does the exact same thing a normal slab would do. So when making a mob farm, it's the way to go. And I did some tinkering and I found the exact way I needed to make it. Perfect, okay, I wanted to keep at least 12 of these. This stupid one that I will never get back. I accidentally placed this one down. Oh, I'm so stupid. And we'll see, we'll see if we start getting mobs. I'm hoping that this works. I, I, was, I was testing around to see what would spawn creatures because I couldn't find anything that would. There's nobody. <gasps> well, that's not what we want, is it? We don't want anybody aggroing like that. That's a bad thing. But it works. It works. It works. It works. It works. It does spawn people. You do not know how happy I am that this worked. Like, testing in creative mode? Oh my god, I was scared it wouldn't. No! Do I want to go in there? Yeah. So we got a bow. It's very low durability. Oh god, I did not think of baby zombies. And spiders. Get away. Look how many- Oh my god, there's so many guys over there. Oh no. This is not good for me. Oh great. Yeah, guys. So... Cool. Yeah, I kind of underestimated spiders. Uh, there was a ton of them. And I spent like half of my time killing them and they nearly killed me. Ah! I have a better idea right here. I do this, I break this, and I do that. So now I can just hit them right here because they can see me. So then they're like, oh, come over here. And then they, they drop down. I don't think you guys understand the blood, sweat, and tears I put into this world. I grinded for so long. I, I think it ended up being 15 days because that's the last time I put up the F3 menu right here. So after hours of grinding, I thought I was ready.
I took care of the first two towers in front of me with my bow and arrow. I, I missed a lot of shots, but we won't talk about that. It's perching, it's perching, it's perching. I didn't want to talk because I didn't want to ruin the moment, but I died. It was a horrible setback, but since I've already spent 15 days in this Minecraft world, why not spend another 15 days in a different one? I have to restart the challenge, and I'm not gonna do what I did last time. It's day 10. I've waited long enough. I don't want to spend another couple hours going through and doing stuff over and over and over and over and over. I think we're just gonna go at it again. We have to play safe, though. We're turning these back on. I want to be honest with you. I don't think it's the bedrock super flat that is difficult. I think it's the end. And what I meant is the fight. So what you're telling me to- What I have to fight this guy is enchanting tables, end portal frames that you can't even break, and bookshelves, which, might I add, this is one of the e most easily breakable things. Like, you don't even get the block back! So yes, the only thing I had infinite resources of was arrows. Are you kidding me? Thank you. There. Okay. 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 Almost looked at that Enderman. No, 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 no! Okay, okay, I got that one. Oh god, I don't have anything. I just have to wait for him to perch. He hasn't even perched once. We've got a perch, we've got a perch, we've got a perch. We've already got another perch. Dragon perched again. Durability wise, we're doing okay. Um, I have two arrows left still. Okay. Oh, I need to wait for the next perch, and I don't know when that'll be. <gasps> Look at all the interprints. Holy crap. Should I try shooting it? Or is it perching right now? It's perching, it's perching. Yes! Oh my god! 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Give me this XP. Oh my god. I was so afraid I was gonna die. You do not know how afraid I was. I was sitting there and I'm like, I'm so... I'm, I'm gonna die. There's no way I live. Oh my god. Yes! Yes! Oh my god. Oh, I don't know what to do. Where is the, the teleporter? There it is. Almost nine minutes into the video, and I finally beat the Ender Dragon. You could hear my excitement, and I genuinely was... I was ecstatic. Okay. We're not going back until we get... We get stuff. Wow, beating the game wasn't that difficult. WRONG! You forgot that the end is Minecraft's version of hell. You forgot that I still have to get past these fuckers! <laughs> and that's not even the worst part. I have to find one with a flying ship. Oh wait, there's one right there. Not only do I have to be a lucky guy to get past all of these, I also get loot in these chests, which is pretty cool. Also, please do not equip the Curse of Binding Ones. I'm hoping I'm not screwed on this island. Also, steady source of food. Yes, please. Okay, no, we'll teleport over there. Also, I should probably mark my cords, shouldn't I? Look how tall this one is. Oh my god, look how tall that is. Uh... <gasps> I almost didn't even see that. Sorry, I needed to take a screenshot. Oh my god. And of course, it has to be hell getting over there. I thought I wasn't gonna make that. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't really have any blocks to build with those. Can I take an easy way around? I might be able to. Oh no. It's it's so nerve-wracking every single time. I saw the shulkers up there, you see? See up there and to the side. Um, this is a horrible one to to loot. Okay, you know what, I'll just teleport up. Is there not loot down in the first floor? I don't think there is. Okay, I'm- I'm genuinely stressing. Okay. <gasps> oh, crap! Is not loot? No reason why I should be here, then. Um... This one sucked. I'm gonna say it flat out. I mean, I can get the elytra over here, but I don't- I don't have any loot. I might have to come back to this one. Well, I'll save the cords. Well, that was useless. Let's just keep running this way then, because I don't see another one. Wait, does a ship have a chest? I'm not too smart. I don't remember. Let's get the whole gang to pull up. Oh my god. We have a lot of ender pearls. I didn't think I killed that many, but I guess I did. Okay, maybe I should go back. <laughs> You're kidding. Thanks. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. I don't want cursive binding. Gotta be careful of putting that kind of stuff on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? Who's... How is he coming at me? Hello? We can fly out of here now. 
You know, I feel so lucky now. Having an elytra is probably one of the best things to have in the game. I can basically go wherever I want and I won't take any fall damage. I mean, like, isn't this great? It's fine, I can go get it on the way down. <laughs> we did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. We, I mean, it's more like we beat the ender dragon, but oh my God, guys. I'm on hardcore mode, so I don't respawn, right? I haven't done much hardcore mode in my life, so this one is is new to me. I forgot what I was doing. Um, oh, that's what I was gonna do. Okay, now we have actual building blocks. Also, look at this. Efficiency five, mending and unbreaking three. That's insane. So change of plans. Um, actually, I wanna kill this first. Where'd he go? My first shell. My first shell. Oh, I can actually kill that guy at the very top now. Oh, poop. Wow, how hard are shells to get? I I was over there, um, over where I wanted to build, and since I had my render distance turned up, I was like, what's the point in even going over there? Because I'm I'm not I'm not seeing any more cities, actually. Why don't I just take all of this right now? I just thought I am going to want to make another portal soon. So I might as well take all of this. Why not? What's going to stop me? I think I need 14 for the whole thing if I want to make it the square. Okay, I only need one. Oh. What? It was right there. Also, how has this not taken any damage? I I what? I didn't even realize. What? Okay, we're turning these chunks back down. I feel like I'm hacking. It's ginormous. Oh, there's this one coming after me. Ah, I don't know where I am. Oh god, this is the big chamber. I don't think I'm ready for that chamber. I don't think I'm ready for that one. We're gonna leave, we're gonna leave. What? Who do I hear that's like right here? Oh my god. There's a chest in there. Don't mind if I do, beetroot seeds actually might be useful. Curse of binding again. And I'll use these. Dude, what? Oh. What? What? They can go in through like the bottom? What is that? Oh my god. When did I get these in my inventory? Oh my god. Oh wow. That's a lot of... A lot of gold. I gotta pull up home cords, give me a second. What do I not want? What can I get, like, another time? I'll just place the head down here. 
Yeah, I could keep going that way. Imagine if villagers were in the end. That'd be crazy. Like, vill and end villages. Don't know how that would look. It's like Endermen villagers. Endermen. And villagers. And what they sell you is Ender Pearls. Sounds like a mod pack. How did I get over here? Okay, I'm going over there and placing these blocks. I do not trust anything. So these cords aren't exact. So I'm going to have to figure out what I meant. And here is the one I was already at because I forgot. I looked straight at it. And then we run this way. I see it. Do you? Right over there. I was trying to get one of the blue things highlighted, but... You know, a long while back, I created a parkour map called Chorus Runner. And it was basically just a ton of chorus plants that I just generated. And then... You know, they eventually created a parkour map. I think it was a really cool... It was a cool map. I, I remember making a trailer for it, which sucked. Uh, I think I still have it, so if I do, I'll play it right now. Ooh, that is too close for comfort. Now, my only building blocks were, were, were enchanting tables, so hopefully... Uh, they they bring me back safely. Oh, it just spawns me on the top. Cool. Still have eight enchanting tables. Oh my god, it feels so good to see this. Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> Damn, that's so much XP. What? We're back with our... Thing... Well, I guess we'll still have that mob farm, won't we? That's a slime chunk? What? I couldn't tell you how peaceful it was to finally be back home after, you know, traversing the end for such a long time. And it, it felt peaceful to just look at the sunset. It was the first time I've actually been able to just take it easy. And you know what? It feels like it's a start of a new dawn and it feels really nice. But I couldn't be more wrong. I had to wait for a specific guy. Oh, do you know who I'm talking about? The Wandering Trader. And you know, I really want this guy's traits because he gives me a moss block. But the reason why I can't even have this guy is because we're in the middle of bedrock. And the only way to get him to spawn is by making a giant endstone field. Ow. Yes! Yes! What did we get? We get blocks? Or chirp? Chir I love chirp. We need wandering trader to spawn in. I can't wait for when I have a crafting table. It's been so long since I've had a chance. Big slime. So it says he's, he's supposed to spawn soon says the game and what are my sources well i don't have any hey while i'm building my giant platform i wanted to quickly ask you guys can you please become a member it would really help out my channel a lot and it lets me make this a job but guess what you also get special perks like emojis videos early and so much more just check out what level is even in your price range and you don't even need to do it Oh my god! Look how many are spawning! Oh my! Look at all the zombie reinforcements, though. Look how many there are! Oh my god! They just keep coming! 5.5 attack damage. You know what? This has mending on it. I'll use it. What? fucking potion effect do you have on? Ooh! You guys need to burn to death. Please. Please. 
Well, that was eventful. As the video is closing off, I want to give a little sneak peek on what is to come. I find this cool structure. I wonder what it is. Something appears in front of me. Ooh, spooky. And we finally do something that I've been wanting to do since the very beginning. If the next video is out right now, it'll pop up in the end card or, you know, in the top corner. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everybody. Ciao.